Catapult deck is open. All right, guys, bringing you another one. Late at night for me, but here we go, bringing you the OG Granddaddy Gundam, the RX-78 2 in animation colors. Well, not quite animation colors, but close enough for me. And I do not like this thing. I do not like how it is in GBO2. Strangely enough, I actually do pretty well in here. We are in a match with Drunk Zaku, I believe, and his new and shiny Zaku 3. Always bulky, always bulky, always bulky. Ace match by the looks of it. I believe this is a five. No, no, no. It would have to be higher than that because we're seeing a super gun in here, so it has to be higher than five hundred. I would reckon maybe five fifty. The enemy has secured a beacon. So I'm trying to advance with Zaku here, just trying to see if I can get a catch or pick one of their guys off. This guy here, a little bit smart, asshole behind us. He's getting close, so he's our priority. And of course, the man doesn't have any kind of stun protection other than active guard. That is the full armor mark too, by the looks of it. It doesn't have maneuver armor, it doesn't have a dodge roll. Yep, no maneuver armor, no dodge roll. We can keep him still forever between two of us. So it's just systematically taking them down one by one, getting into a bunch of 2v1 fights. Keeping stuns. An allied unit has been destroyed. Don't want to stun Zaku. Dodge roll out so that he can do his thing without worrying about me. Get behind cover. So I'm ready for the next fight. Bonk. Dodge roll into the hole. Zuck is kind of by himself there, but he's fighting us like three or four different people. He's at half health. He's like, even I'm kind of like, I do, I do not want the smoke with that. So I retreat, try to get back to friendly territory, wait for, wait for people to respawn, see if I can back Zuck up from a better position. An allied unit has been destroyed. He's probably going to die here. Probably not a whole lot I can do about that. But let's talk about the Ark 70 and why I kind of don't like it. Though I'm kind of showing why I can be a little good with it. The reason I don't really like the RX-78 is because it doesn't really fucking do anything. It kind of runs in... It doesn't run into the same problem the Kakushiki does I talked about last time, but it kind of does. It ru does run into the um, problem of opportunity cost. Generally, there's some always something better you could be using. Like, I could be using the Gundam Mark II here. Alright. Could be using the Gundam Mark II, could be using the Jetta, could be using the Jagan, could be using the Jim 3 for Christ's sake. An allied unit has been destroyed. Well, we have this thing. Dodge roll in there so that I get out of the line of fire from people just spawning in behind me. What I don't like about this is that it's kind of, well, it's slow with a, what, a 180 high speed movement. It can't hold a whole lot of boost. The way I have it set up, it can only have, have myself at about 75 boost, 75 thruster. You can't stack um, your damage mods in such a way where you can hit, you know, 40, 50 plus percent on either your long range or your close range hits. Shield damaged. Defense is hindered. And your weapons are just naturally weak to begin with, so you have a 30, so the way I, I have it set up, you have a 30% mod on all your shit, and all your shit does very little damage. An allied unit has been destroyed. It just doesn't do anything. But I'm clearly proving that wrong. While there are better choices at any tier than using the gun to make it make it work. While it's true to Jack of all trades and master of none, it does so poorly in all those categories that I usually don't find there's reason to use it. Like yeah, versatility is great. The G3 versatility is great. The Zaku S's versatility is great. The Rebow versatility is great. The Riggs's versatility is great. But they can all at least hit harder. <laughs> or at least they can stack or at least they can stack damage in a way that the Gundam can. And Gundam only has one instant stun option being either it's beam rifle or it's bazooka. And of course I'm not running the Gundam hammer here who like think that's destroyed. troll and not very fun. For the others. Very fun for you about very fun for anyone else fighting it.
fighting Gundam R2 over there, and kind of make him my best friend. Because Gundam R2 is straight up better than the RX-78 in every single possible way, even if it has things level 1, not level 5. I mean, I might have the edge in both. I'll say I'm not entirely sure why I did that, to be honest. Be careful. Minor damage. No need for concern. Probably should have tackled into him. I should dodge roll back, yep. Just so, so throw Vulcans while the Methus kind of just sits there. I was surprised he didn't... Why didn't he just, like, throw those bazookas or those pistols? Were they both gone? It's poor weapon management, my guy. It's poor weapon management. He says off he should have them to control, and no, someone steals it from him. Nice work, dipshit. <laughs> uh, but we're still winning by a decent-ish amount, and we just killed the enemy ace. Yeah, well, some people will disagree. I just don't believe that the Gundam does enough. If it were a little, like, if its rifle did a little bit more damage, if it could stack a little bit more mod, if its saber did a little bit more damage, if it were a little bit faster, I think it would be any one of those things, right? Not all of those things at once, but any one of those things. Yep. Just let Draco handle that. Tackle his bitch ass. Trouble. Trying to stack as much damage as I can. Nice. Now I can die here. I don't care. We should win this even if Zaku dies, which he does. Yeah, even if yeah, well, yeah, we're fine. We're gonna yeah. I'm not gonna live through this, but. Completely 100% okay. The teamwork between me and Zaku is just on point here, I think. One minute left in the mission. The enemy ace is back. Be careful. Now we should just play defensively. The ace has returned to battle. An allied unit has been destroyed. Ally if we do nothing, we win. That's the deal. We, if we do nothing, we win. Requesting to sortie. Have to stop him killing Zaku, period. Zaku's just starting to swing, which, fair enough, fair enough, right? That's absolutely what he should be doing, because he cannot afford to die here. Stab the ace? Like, if that were a Gundam Mark II, if that were, like, almost any other suit in the game, that would have killed. It would a single swing, not two. I'm not going to say any other suit in the game. Yeah. That was a really good, yeah, that was a really good match for both me and Zaka. Yeah, even though this thing is... Honestly, this thing was power crept years ago. Even though this thing has been power crept kind of out of the game, if you know how to make use of the few advantages it does have, you can really make it work. Oh, we're kind of out of the game. If you know how to make use of the few advantages it does have, you can really make it work. Oh, we're with Modoki. Ah, what are they? You know, I feel like an asshole. I didn't even see Modoki there. I'll see y'all later.